going to show you how I change out my nozzles on my Anycubic Mega S. Um, a couple things, I'm changing out actually my 0.6 brass to my E3D, genuine E3D um, 0.4 copper plated. And it's really simple, pretty quick. Um, I've already preheated the nozzle. I only really preheat them to like 190, which is what it's at now. And then I retract my filament, of course, to make sure there's no plastic in the nozzle. So we'll go ahead and get started. I use a couple things, um, some curved 45 degree needle nose pliers for holding the heat block. And then I use a seven millimeter socket, deep socket attached to just a little ratchet. You can use any kind of ratchet. It's just a finger ratchet. All right, first things first, I'm gonna raise the uh, height of it just a little. One more. Um, let me make sure you guys can still see. Yep, looks good. Okay. Gonna take the silicone sock off first. right there and then just turn it a little loosen up the heat block and then just unscrew the nozzle make sure you loosen the heat block just a little bit not a lot and hold it still okay Got the old nozzle out, very hot. I got some paper towels. I like to just grab them and leave them in there. Okay. Now this is a copper plated nozzle. I don't know if the uh, temperatures are gonna change on my printer. I've been printing at 185 degrees on all my coppers. Um, now I usually start threading this with my hand. Um, just be very careful if you're gonna do that. I don't take any responsibility if you injure yourself. Sometimes it's a little tough when I'm, you're laying on the floor because I keep my printer on the floor. And it gets hot extremely quickly, but I do as much as I can before I can't grab it anymore, which actually got it most of the way in. The heat block is going to hold it still. Go mostly the rest of the way down with the nozzle until we start touching. Okay, and we're going to turn the heat block. A little bit tighter and then snug that down not real tight just snug and then that's it I'm gonna reinstall the heat sock I've never used a genuine E3D so we'll see if it's all the hype I haven't had any problem with the Chinese brass nozzles at all. They've all been great. I'm just tucking the heat sock back up in there. Get around my little LED I put in there. Alright. And then what I like to do is just watch everything. And I'm going to feed the filament back through. And make sure it's still hot. Yep. Let's see. There we go. That looks good. That looks real good. 
locked up. Looks like it's coming out real good. And you always want to check on the top of the heat block up in there when you see in the crack. Just make sure nothing's coming out. Because um, you definitely want that heat block snugged against that nozzle. Um, otherwise your temperatures will be all off and you'll have to raise them up when you print and stuff like that. But this looks pretty good. It came out nice. Alright guys, that's about it for that this video. Um, hope you find it useful. It's super simple to switch these nozzles out. I've been using a 0 0.6 lately, and I just wanted to switch back to this E3D. See if it's all the hype. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you around later.